Yo what's up guys, welcome to a brand new video and welcome to what is going to be a huge mystery box unboxing. As you can tell from the title, I got $500 of vintage t-shirts to be opening up today. A huge mystery box and I mean huge. It's down here and I, I'm going to try and pick it up but it's huge. Oh, okay, lift with the knees. Oh god, okay, yeah, it's like actually massive. Okay, yeah. <sighs> And yeah, it is $500 of vintage t-shirts. I don't know what is going to be in there. What I do know is it's going to be 100 t-shirts, 50 branded t-shirts. I think it should be like Nike, Adidas, that kind of thing. And then 50 American graphic tees. So I think that should be like college tees and stuff. So in total, we got 100 vintage t-shirts to open up. It's going to be a very long video. So I'm not going to be able to spend too long going through everything. But I'm going to go through every single thing that's in there. And then at least go through my favorites in a bit more detail. You can tell I'm out of breath just from picking this thing up. All right, let, let's just get into it. Because like I say, there's a lot of things to get through i can't spend too long just talking got the supreme knife here open the package up I, I want this to be on camera but there's like no way bro that it's it's got to stay on the floor see on the invoice we got right here it's 50 usa print tees and 50 branded tees so we'll see what we get 100 vintage t-shirts we're just gonna have to go through like lots of 10 basically so first up we got this 2012 which isn't that vintage i guess um but 2012 mls cup champions la galaxy Adidas this is. There you go. That is a size medium. Just quickly while we're going through everything. Most of these things I am going to be selling. Anything that doesn't fit me and anything I don't want to keep, I am going to be selling. So if you want to just follow me on Instagram and then send me a DM on there if you're interested in any of these t-shirts that come up. I'm probably going to be selling literally like everything except everything I want to keep for myself. So yeah, there, there's that out of the way. One down, 99 to go. Right, what do we have here? We have got a Liberty University LU size XL. Champion tee, pretty good. Again, another college print tee. Champion, Liberty, University. Right, now we got a Let's Go Pens, as in, I guess, Let's Go Penguins, right? This looks like a Penguins ice hockey tee, a uh, Gildan Heavyweight, size XL, and then it's got, okay, I don't want to sound like an idiot, but some <laughs> Roman numerals on the back. And then, I think it's, yeah, like a Penguins t-shirt. Seize the Day, Carpe Diem, Adidas t-shirt. This is a, I guess, a branded tee, not a, not a, Print T, B S C's a day, Carve DM, go to T, just nice orange Adidas. Next up, we got Old Dominion University, nice grey champion size large, champion logo on the sleeve, grey T-shirt right there, Old Dominion University. Hopefully, you can see these on the camera well. Like I said, I can't spend too long in each T, but I'm going through everything, just nice and quick, so you can see everything I get in the box. Next up, this is quite sick. We got Pittsburgh Steelers. 5k race some kind of charity thing from 2017 sponsored by gatorade and nike on the back size medium that's actually quite sick quite impressed by that pittsburgh steelers tee next up we got an adidas tee just like a plain black with an adidas in gray and yellow camo standard adidas tee Ooh, okay okay we got a long sleeve in here what is this it's still got the sticker on and everything coming up roses oh uh michigan state spartans i think it says yeah michigan state uh, Rose Bowl tee. This is actually fire, bro. This is crazy. Uh, definitely a personal if it's in my size. But yeah, that's a, a really nice graphic on a, on a t-shirt right there. That's probably one of the best pieces right there. That's a, a really nice graphic. Loads of colors on it. Michigan State. That's quite sick. And then we have a Penn Basketball. I guess this is Penn State Basketball tee right there. Black with the gold text on the front. Size medium, gilded. Heavy weight by looks of things, yeah. So that is 10 down, nothing to go. Okay, ETSU Buccaneers football, don't know. Champion tee and like a navy kind of purple, yellow writing on the front. What have we got here? Stowe, Vermont, University 2XL, bright, bright green. I don't think the camera quite does it much justice. This is actually like bright green. Next up we got a UNC t-shirt right here in gray. Champion again, Chapel Hill. UNC, this one's quite nice. UNC ch usually sells pretty well, so. Champion size large UNC tee. That might be one of the best. I'm actually gonna recap the best ones at the end. Don't know what this is, it's small, what does it say? Methodist Monarchs. Okay, I guess this is some kind of sports team. Don't know. Newbury College Baseball, the uh, champion again, gray with some orange text on it. This is Newbury or Newberry, I don't know how Americans are saying that kind of thing, but yeah, baseball tee right there. Okay, we got another Penguins thing. I'm trying to remember what ice hockey team the Penguins are, but I, I can't for the life of me, but an NHL t-shirt and then this actually has a name on the back um, And then it's actually a Reebok tee, which is quite different. But yeah, it's got a name on the back NHL tee right there Next up we've got Pittsburgh Steelers, which is another Reebok tee uh, This is in bright yellow and then it's got some brown writing on the front 
Um, this is actually quite a sick one, probably one of the better ones. Nice heavy weight, and this is actually probably my size. So. Okay, this one is a maroon College of Charleston Cougars. This is tiny. I feel like it's a women's. No, it's just a size small. Charleston, South Carolina. And these these t-shirts are all stacking up at the back. Okay, William Patterson Rugby. Rugby? Is it actually rugby? I didn't know American colleges played rugby, but... William Patterson Rugby Champion, size XL, black, orange writing. Oof, okay, we got a Notre Dame one. These always do quite well. The Fighting Irish, you can see right there, they got the logo. This is a champion, no, Russell Athletic, size large. Notre Dame tee, this is quite a good one. Um, it's got the Russell Athletic logo on the side as well. Nice one right there. Bright green, bright, bright green. Okay, Charleston again, College of Charleston. Uh, champion size medium, long sleeve. This one's quite nice, once it's once signed out, I think this would be really good. Uh, just a nice college tee. Champion medium. What is this one right here? Detroit Tigers, actually. This is a XL youth, it must be. MLB, because it's very small. Detroit Tigers tee, orange. I didn't know they were orange. I thought they were like a navy, but Tigers, it kind of makes sense. Okay, I'm beginning to think wherever they got their stock from was definitely Pittsburgh, because there is another Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, lots of Pittsburgh things. I don't really know um, why. Maybe it's just from around there they got all this stuff, but... Pittsburgh Steelers, this is massive, what is this, 2X, yeah, 2XL, NFL T. Reebok was that, yeah, Reebok again. So much stuff from Pittsburgh, very, very random. Oh, okay, and here we go, another Pittsburgh Penguins list, so it is the Pittsburgh Penguins, I wasn't wrong on that. Winter Classic 2011, what is this, is this like a, does that mean captain, or what does that mean? Cros Crosby, don't know anything about the NHL, but... Crosby, 87, Reebok. This is so, like, cracked and washed. It actually looks very vintage. Even though it's only 2011, but I guess it is kind of nine years ago now. Okay, I'm getting quite upset with the Pittsburgh stuff. Another one. Majestic this time. Oof, okay. A very vintage NBA tee. This is more my kind of thing. I, I know a lot more about basketball than I do about any other sport, really. Charlotte Bobcats against the Wizards, 2004. This is very old because, yeah, the, uh, the Bobcats don't even exist anymore, so... Yeah, so the more I'm looking at it, I don't think it's Charlotte Bobcats because it's orange, so I think it might just be a college tee or like a high school team. Anyway, 2004, it's quite old. Oof, here we go, Super Bowl 50, Conference Champions, Carolina Panthers t-shirt, NFL. This is a Nike tee, so it's actually good quality as well. Um, size XL, long sleeve. This one's quite nice. That's definitely one of the better ones. What we got here, Med Medical College of Virginia, okay, champion. Size medium, random, green with a bit of writing on the front, but yeah. Georgia Tech, what does this say down the side? Yellow jackets, Georgia Tech yellow jackets. Don't know what that is, but blue with the, the gold writing on the front. Georgia Tech, long sleeve. Carolina Gamecocks, don't know what that is. College, I guess. Maroon, black writing, champion. Size small. Okay, what we got here? October Proven, World Series champions, Boston Red Sox. Versus the Atlanta Braves, so it's a 2018, which isn't vintage. Um, Nike T, right there, MLB. Then we got another Nike. Oh wait, we already had one of these. Feels like it's another one of the same, which is a shame. Pittsburgh Steelers again. This is tiny. This is like a extra small. Dallas Cowboys NFL collection, right there, size large. Um, this I think it's just NFL branded, yeah, not Nike or anything. Dallas Cowboys, Princeton University. I did a, a, a vintage unboxing. I only had like 10 tees last time. I got 100 this time. But um, the giveaway winner chose the Princeton one. So Princeton, I think, is quite popular. And yeah, we've got a 2XL right there. So it's actually huge. But a Princeton tee right there. Okay, Salem State University. Don't know where that is. It's 2XL champion again. Absolutely massive. That's quite a nice graphic. Just Washington University in St. Louis. I Yes. I like the colours on this and it's just a nice text as well. Uh, it's, it's a nice tier champion. And I, I knew 100 was going to be a lot. I didn't realise just how much this was going to be. Uh, South Carolina right here, long sleeve. This is like a women's or a, or a size small. Yeah, it's a medium, but it looks small. South Carolina. Okay. Oh, I'm slowly losing my mind. There's too many tees right here. I hope you, you guys are enjoying this. Pittsburgh Penguins again. Not going to go through it. Same guy. Don't know how you pronounce it. Pittsburgh Penguins. And another Pittsburgh Penguins. Different graphic, but... Yeah. Villanova, 2016 NCAA Basketball National Champions. I actually remember when they won. So, yeah, Villanova National Champions T Basketball at least. Pittsburgh Steelers, the boys. Okay, this has like a little tape on it. What is it? Philadelphia Champion T. I don't know if it's Philadelphia 
Basketball, football, what is it? I don't know. Champion, Philadelphia. Hmm, we got an interesting graphic here. This looks really old. Uh, I don't know, made in Honduras. Super old. Well, I don't know, it looks really old anyway. It's Hawaii. It's a Hawaii t-shirt with a very nice graphic. I think this might have to be a personal piece. This is kind of sick. It, it just looks really vintage, you know. Um, it's quite cool. I'm trying to see if it's the um, a university or anything, but I think it literally is just like a Nike Hawaii t-shirt and then it's got all of the islands on it as well. That's actually quite sick. That's one of my favorites. This is a major filler tee. Adidas. Just, yeah. Red. Kind of looks like a Oregon tee, potentially. Orange. Orange? Orange. Oh. And it's uh, got a Nike swoosh on it. I'm gonna assume it's an origin. Origin? Oregon tee. Right there. Unless maybe it's the number zero, who knows? Oh, here we go, this is old, absolutely. Whenever I look at the labels like this, I'm looking for a a year on the t-shirt. There's not always a year and there's not on this one either, but this was made in the USA. And it just, it just looks old. It's a USA Nike tee. It kind of looks like a really old Olympic tee, like a 96 tee or something like that. Okay, next up, University of Rhode Island. This says right there, it's kind of like a navy all over. Uh, champion t-shirt, long sleeve, got a huge logo on the back. I guess that is the Rhode Island University logo. This one is a Puma t-shirt. This is the first Puma t-shirt that we got. Screen print logo on the front. Actually, it's a puff print logo on the front. How strange. And then it's got an embroidered logo on the back. So any any Puma fans, there you go, an embroidered logo. This kind of looks like a Carolina Panthers tee just because it's like a Puma and a Panther. It kind of is the same thing. And then you got the color on the side. And here we have got a Michigan tee, Michigan University, not to be confused. With Michigan State, this is the the yellow and the the navy. So yeah, Michigan tee. Would you believe? I think we're only halfway. All right, let's go. Flying from Dallas Cowboys, Nike tee, gray, blue and white logo. Pretty nice Nike tee. Oof, this is actually a fire graphic. Low key, Virginia Cavaliers basketball. Don't even know who that is, but the uh, it's not even like screen printed. I don't even know what that is. It feels like rubber. That's a really old Nike t-shirt. Again, no year on it. I'm trying to find years on these t-shirts, but it's impossible. But that's a, a really vintage tee. Okay, Duke University, 2015, five-time champions, Nike tee. I, I hope you can see the whole t-shirt on these. What we got here, Reebok Athletics. Oh, it's a tiny logo at the front and then on the back. That's how I could tell it was Reebok. It's huge on the back. It's a huge t-shirt, actually. Size XL, made in the USA, so very old. Yeah, it's a Reebok, plain tee. Okay, we've got here, this is a quite a sick one. Oregon State Beavers, I actually recognize this. This is a, a Div 1 college. Long sleeve orange, this would have been good for Halloween. I got some t shirts, like, uh, some shoes I can wear with this for sure. So, this is definitely gonna be a personal Oregon State Beavers. I hope it was still recording that whole time. Um, it did just stop recording. I don't know if it hit the cap for one record, but hopefully, you didn't miss anything. Tennessee football, this is quite sick. Uh, Tennessee college, I assume. Um, double X again, man. Loads of these are huge, unfortunately. Clemson versus Virginia Tech ACC Championship 2011. The back graphic on this is low key crazy. Wake Forest soccer, gray with some gold text on it, and then a huge Nike soccer on the back. So this is just a black Nike t shirt. Graphic on the front, nothing on the back. <laughs> this is a crazy graphic, man. It's like a paint splatter, like dripping everywhere. Once this is ironed out, this would definitely be sick. Nike t shirt right there. It looks very old. That's fire. Oh, man, I'm going to see. Dusty. Okay, man. We continue. We continue. 2010 NCAA National Champions Duke Basketball Final Four. 2010. That's actually fire. Huge graphic on the front. That's sick. Nothing on the back. Nike, just do it. Orange, white, black. One more can you say. Okay, we got a long sleeve. Just champion plain maroon all over. Gray embroidered logo. Nothing on the sleeves. 2009 again. Super Bowl. Pittsburgh Steelers. Black t-shirt, gold writing, very nice. Very small though, still. All the hype, bit of a random t-shirt, but we will take it, it's a Nike tee. Can't go wrong. It's kind of like a pinky, crimson-y, orange, I don't really know. What is this, Inside Out? Yo, I thought this was Inside Out, but the graphic is just really low-key. It's a massive American flag, right, with the champion. It says Boston. I don't. I think the graphics come off of this, low-key. It's a champion tee though, you can see it kind of in the camera. Made to run, Nike tee, I hate running, so. Probably not for me, but but a Nike running tee. This one's quite sick. Christopher Newport University is that Newport is in California, not sure. It's got like a silvery writing on the front. That's actually fire. Nice vintage tee, especially for a girl, low key. But yeah, here we go. All in Cavaliers 2016. This is LeBron era. 
Cavaliers. Unfortunately, it's tiny, it's not gonna fit me, but I'm a huge LeBron fan, so that's definitely good for me. Shame it's too small. There is no Nike. Oh, <laughs> there is no finish line, is what it says. Nike, T, long sleeve. Nice little swoosh on the side there. Oh, there's so many T's. Obviously. Carolina football, Nike T. South Carolina, Nike T, not football. Size large, low key, probably gonna keep this as far. Champion, em not embroidered, screen print. Black, green writing, not much to say. We got a purple one, we got a couple purple ones coming up. What we got here? James Madison, Hammers Madison, Dukes football. James Madison, this can't be the James Madison, but, oh yeah, this is talking about football, not like English football. Bad air day, that's kind of an L, that's poor from Nike's marketing. Still doing it, okay, yeah, still doing it, as in just do it, but you know, I'm still doing it, still doing it. Again, like I say, another purple TV, hadn't got many, hadn't got any, I don't think, and then we got two in a row, purple. Still doing it. Elon University. Elon Basketball. Interesting. I actually know someone from my school, which is quite mad because they went to to Elon. Like from England, they went to Elon University. That's quite cool. Elon Basketball. Just do it on the back. Carolina Panthers again. Cam Newton. This is a Cam Newton tee. Um, size medium apparently, but it looks really small. Nike established 72. It's definitely not a 72 t-shirt. But Nike really established in 72. That's not actually that long ago, but cool t-shirt and then we got another just nike t-shirt this has a terrible stain on the back come on now come on better than that actually a nice a nice t-shirt if there was no stain on the back carolina panthers just do it nike yo you can tell i'm so over this box um winner stays villanova i think or virginia potentially i'm literally exhausted by these t-shirts man i'm i'm losing my mind this is clemson i recognize the the logo clemson university long sleeve nike t a lot of these things like they don't look too great like they're really wrinkly but once you iron them out they definitely look sick virginia cavaliers oh yeah so it is it's virginia um football right there that logo i didn't realize virginia good wood don't know about that one it's a nike t don't know what it's inspired by golf potentially okay this is an l this is like absolutely awful. What is this? Why have I got this? Nautica. I guess it's a vintage tee, but we have another one of these. We have three of them now. Nike long sleeve, just do it right there. Red, this one actually is quite sick. Just do it. This is, this actually feels so old and so vintage. It's an Adidas tee right there. It's like one of those old Adidas equipment things. Not, not got a year on it, but that's actually quite Sick, definitely a good, like, vintage piece. Are we back to the Pittsburgh? No. What is it? This looks like that, like, off-white thing where they made a, a shirt out of, well, a t-shirt out of a shirt. Looks like that. I think we're on to the final 10. Yeah, definitely. So I think there were 100 tees in there, or there was 90, I, I don't know. Tommy Hilfiger tee right there. Um, embroidered logo, that's actually quite good. Um, it's probably worth a decent amount of money. You can barely see the logo, but it is there. Tommy Hilfiger. Soccer, recruiting. T, don't know. What is this? Just do it. 95, extra small. Nike long sleeve T. What does that even say? Ship, Shippensburg. Shippensburg Nike T. Red text on the front. That looks really old. Uh, no, yeah. Adidas Athletics Department T. Right there. Size large, blue long sleeve. A lot more long sleeve than I thought there would be in this box. I thought it would all be short sleeve. But I guess with winter coming up, that's actually pretty good. What is this? Nike foam finger on a foam finger. How strange. <laughs> I don't know the meaning of that, but this one caught my eye as it was in the box. A Bengal Tigers T. Nike. This is going to fit me as well. So that's actually fire. Bright orange Bengal Tigers. That's quite sick. Just re It's not Bengal Tigers. It's Cincinnati Bengals, isn't it? But let it slide. This has a huge hole in it. L. Can you see that? Can you see it? What is it? Hopefully it's not nice. <laughs> Track and field tee. Don't know. Okay, we're, we're closing it up. There's there's not going to be a banger. I should have closed on that Cincinnati Bengals tee, but... Um, Puma. Another Puma, size XL. Just a black Puma tee with yellow accents. And then the final tee. Well, I'm going to go through the best things again, but the final tee is a Levi's tee. Uh, black XL, just with a little, with a little logo on it. Nothing crazy. That's all 100 tees. I'm gonna sneeze, it's so dusty. What do I think of the box overall? Probably not amazing, to be honest. I, th I thought I would get a lot more like bangers. There were no crazy bangers in there. There's a lot of good pieces in there for sure, but I feel like they're all kind of around the same tier. I was looking for a few that I would be able to keep for myself that would actually be like sick personal pieces, which there are a few, but there's nothing like insanely crazy. Um, no like gems in there. It's just a massive $500 mystery box of vintage tees that are probably around the value that I paid for them. Like, obviously on average, it's like $5 per t-shirt, which they probably are $5 t-shirts, you know, they're not like, there's not the amazing bangers in there, but I kind of, you, you get what you pay for, right? You get 
100 tees for $500, you get $105 tees. But just going through my favorites that I got from the box, there's obviously this one right here, which is very nice. And then we got this paint splatter Nike tee, which is again quite sick. Another orange tee, this is the Oregon State Beavers. Looks like orange is one of my favorites, Loki. Again, orange Virginia. Elon, just do it. This really old Nike USA tee. The Hawaii one with the, with the crazy graphic on. I actually got three of these, so I'm actually kind of less impressed by it now, but Carolina Panthers. Notre Dame, very popular, as I say, it always does well. We got loads of Pittsburgh stuff, but this is probably the best Pittsburgh piece that we did get. It feels really good, like heavyweight. Ah, uh, yeah, th this was definitely the best graphic. The, the colors on this go crazy, Michigan State Spartans. And then the final favorite piece was that UNC tea right there so yeah that is everything that we got in the box 500 dollars mystery box of, of vintage teas let me know what you thought and let me know what your favorite piece was i really would be interested to know what you think the best piece in there do you think the value was good i don't know let me know in the comments below and also leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos man i want to do more mystery boxes in the future so if you do enjoy these kind of things or like i want to do some hype beast stuff some supreme some sneaker mystery boxes in the future I want to do this. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see those in the future. That's going to do it for me today, man. I appreciate you being here. As always, I'll see you in the next one.